Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. This week I'll be taking a look at one of the mainstay applications that we use at Screencast Online day in and day out, and that's ScreenFlow. Now ScreenFlow is an application that we use to both record and edit our screencasts that we publish each week. We did a three-part foundation course on ScreenFlow 8 in the early part of 2019, but Telestream have just released version 9 with some great new features. So let's take a look at some of the new features in ScreenFlow 9. Now I've downloaded and installed ScreenFlow 9. You can get it from the Mac App Store or you can get it from the Telestream website itself. There is an upgrade path if you've purchased ScreenFlow 8 or earlier before. Uh, just a word of warning though that if you do have a Mac App Store version uh, there is no upgrade pricing. They do tend to lower the price initially uh, when they put it on the Mac App Store. There is a definite upgrade path if you buy it from the website itself. So check out the Mac App Store uh, if you want to upgrade you might still get it at the reduced price. But the first thing that we're going to check out is the multi-screen recording. Now unfortunately I can't demonstrate this to you but I'll explain to you what it is. If you start a new ScreenFlow file, so we'll say File New, you'll see normally we get this record desktop from. Now I'm just on the iMac Pro and that is the only desktop I have set up on this system. Sometimes you might have a secondary monitor, uh, an external monitor, in which case if you did, if you clicked on this plus button, you would actually see a second record desktop from option appear and then you'd be able to select the second monitor from there. So in effect, you can record two Mac desktops simultaneously. And why might you want to do that? Well, you might want to uh, record two separate applications or demonstrate what's happening on one screen while having another application on a second screen. Record them both together and then do any switching between the applications in post-production. So just to give you an example of that. So this is a document I created earlier. And basically it's two desktops recorded. One desktop has the Screencast Online website and the other desktop, if I just move this clip out of the way, so the desktop in the track below is showing the same website but with the source code exposed. So for instance, let's say I might wanted to talk through um, the source code here and demonstrate what it looks like on the screen. So without having to switch between the screens as I'm talking, I can have both monitors uh, in place do the narration and then do the editing afterwards. So if I just move this back, so because this will be recorded simultaneously, these two video tracks are identical in length and they're synchronized perfectly. And also we have the audio track down here again synchronized with the video. So this will have all been recorded in a single session. And in some respect, it's very much like a multicam edit on another linear editor. So for instance, uh, let's say I wanted to talk uh, for the first few seconds about the code. So I'm just going to delete one bit of the top track, so we see what's happening on the uh, first monitor here, then it flicks across to the second monitor, we talk a bit about this, and then I trim this as well, so let's cut a section out of here, delete that, and then we go back to the other monitor. Now you can also do more advanced things, for instance if I wanted a video action, just click on the action button in the video tab. Uh, let's say we wanted to make this so picture in picture, I can just drag this down and resize this or reposition this to wherever I want it on screen. So now, as we play the video, we have code, we have the second monitor, more code, the second monitor again, and then a picture in picture. So very much a multicam for the desktop. Okay, let's take a look at the next new feature. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.